resurrect with the roach We shotgun the beers, ain't got time for a toast It's the only place to get for sports like for real Sonny taught us nobody's more sus than Russell Wilson Here's the deal, son, won't find us in Walmart Josh Potter keep it frank, kinda like a ballpark It wasn't nothing talking all that Musician turns out there's a lot of gonna be terrorism Now it's time we hit him, bringing Votto to the plate Roachy, you warned from Chase O'Donnell the Great Let me stop I had no idea this was gonna be words in this But this is great, I'm gonna play the whole thing Yeah the rise, worse than the host known as the Roach Leaving an idiot woman standing on the side or looking like she just tripped into a mo. I'm a delicious Henny beat like uh uh We're gonna have more studios than most have ever heard of Please to be listening, hit that like and subscribe so Idiot many woman, got the idiot rock, woman line. A lot to describe like a Roach reporter <laughs> Teacher on OF, don't read Porter Trying to live life with my mannequin wife And my mannequin kids if that's my mannequin right Been a fan of this guy since a Roach motel Couple hundred weeks in, still funny as hell From the tip cups to back sis and blind eyes Potter has one of the best, best shows of all time Now watch this drive, pop a cup of tall cans with the Roach King and caught the vibe ready to pour Damn. more scurry out the floorboards hit like comment and subscribe holy hell this is amazing yo shout out to the brothers or is it just brothers a little mix up with hen dog they got together and put that bad boy together that was wonderful Normally, I would give out my dates over it. I would talk all over the thing, you know, like Griff Parker sends in things, but uh, had to let that one play out. That was awesome, wasn't it? That was shockingly good. Like, was, I would listen to that in the car. Yeah, like, I got to go back and catch all the references. I mean, hell, I didn't even know the show had that many references. No, I know. I was like, them, that's one. Yeah. No. I started collecting. I was like, idiot woman, that's two. I was like, I'm I tried to add my own stuff. part idiot there. Idiot woman. But I couldn't do it. Um, <laughs> sorry to the nice boy clock once again. Every time I play that one on accident, but it's I think that one's actually medical technical. This is medical technical. <laughs> yes, exactly. But I do want to give dates real quick before we introduce our guest. You know her, you love her. She's the Rochi Award winner of 2023 for guest of the year. It's Sarah Weinshank, folks. Thank you guys. Happy to be here. Let's plug your things first. Of course, there's the this podcast with kim congdon got their channel back the shank yes. channels back as well both both podcasts are back you can find me every monday on this bitch and every wednesday on shank when does this come out go subscribe it comes out on wednesday so you can come out to the comedy store and yeah. see the uh sarah and kim hosted this bitch and friends i will be on that march 17th march at the comedy 14th. store oh excuse me march 14th march 14th at 10 30 it's a fire lineup it's you me kim congdon ryan sickler who else ali makovsky greg Ooh. fitzsimmons and ian edwards hell of a lineup folks come on out to the comedy store march 14th now here as far as my dates go i just added some too i mean this gets bananas i need you to buy <laughs> tickets folks we just added one the day after i will be at this bitch and friends at the comedy store i'm going to chandler arizona the mic drop comedy club march 15th it's two shows i want to sell a bunch of tickets so come on out just announced it and it's happening very soon march 15th chandler arizona then april 26th and 27th huntsville alabama may 3rd seattle washington two shows one night there just added march 29th magoobies march 30th washington dc at the dc improv magoobies by the way baltimore folk it's out by you in timonium maryland may 31st allentown pa at the uh i just someone corrected me on how to say this and i'm still gonna screw it up the emmaus theater in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and Tim Butterly's coming with me to that, so that's going to be electric, May 31st, June 15th and 16th, Houston, Texas, uh, then August 15th, Omaha, August 16th and 17th, Des Moines, all those are on sale, so please to be going to my Instagram at Josh underscore Potter, or my Twitter at J underscore Potter, and, uh, and get tickets, and if you don't want to go there, the links are in the bio in the description so get get it Emmaus I said it right thank you Alex you nailed it yes and uh shout out to who corrected me on that and I hope she comes to the shows I have to give another shout out I told you this story I've been at the comedy uh the comedy store the last you know since I've been home the last two weeks I mean when I'm home I go there that's it even yeah. if I'm not on the show I don't have any other friend I mean they're this is my friends and my family I feel yeah so I go there constantly when I'm home <coughs> and even when I'm not on the lineup, I'm there and I was hanging out and I was at the bar the the other night. I told you the story, I think. But a woman 
made eyes with me across the way and not in like a romantic way. It's just in a way that she knew who I was as far as a comedian. And she came up to me and she goes, are you Josh Ponder? And I was like, yes, I am. And she was like, and she started crying. Dude. That's wild. Not like the. I, I want a fan to cry over me. I don't think I have the crying like we play in the intro. You know, the crying from when I was on your mom's house. That kind of. It wasn't that kind of crying where she was like sobbing. It was like Biebery crying. Oh, you had the Bieber effect. But so I, I was like, I was taken aback. I was like, oh my goodness. I've never experienced, experienced that, that type of reaction, obviously. And uh, she said that her uh, fiance was a big fan of mine. I bet he's a roach reporter. Was a big fan is what she said. So he evidently three months ago she lost him. He passed away and that's why she was crying. She's like I know all about your show because of him and and so shout out to uh, Matt Cornier up in heaven uh, for being a roach reporter. I'm sorry. I mean it sucks when you find out someone's a big fan of you and then you I mean and you lost them. <laughs> you know That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, but it was uh, it was a moving moment. And so shout out to Danielle um, and uh, her sister, Christina, who were very nice. It was like, uh, I didn't want to leave them. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. was very nice and wonderful. So That's awesome. It's so nice when you meet people who let, who care about what But she was do. crying and it was like, it was alarming. But so, <laughs> but I appreciate it. And it was, I just wanted to give them a shout out. Yeah, shout out to them. Oh, boy. But, yes, the Comedy Store has been wonderful. It's been so much fun. I've been really trying to put my all into that. So. You have been. You you Did you just – this was your first set this last week as a paid regular, right? Yes. And I brought you up. I got past, folks. He's a paid it's regular. It's happened. Hooray. It's so funny. I mean, I, I always take all the uh, things that come with that with such reverence you know yeah and it you know like uh part of it like you know the bucket seats in the back like where you wait to go up for the or yeah that's where only paid regulars can like walk in and sit yeah and like was i a comic before where people let me sit there before sure but i never really liked doing it because i wasn't a paid regular and the other night annie was about to go on stage and i sat down next to her i go hey i can sit here now and she was like josh you could always sit here (laughs) you like stop being an idiot <laughs> <laughs> that is that's so funny because you are like that when you first came to the store you were like i don't I, I don't know if i should go in the back i'm like you're friends with everybody here you should be in the back with us what do you mean <laughs> no and it well it is nice to have that um feeling but now it's even more it's like when i do go in the back i'm i always felt like oh god you know I have. I always feel like I'm about to. I'm like Frank told me to come back, <laughs> yeah. or like Hormos said to come back. Like uh, now I can just go there. Yeah. So that's cool. You could go there before. I but. know, but it, I like I said, <laughs> but, I always felt like I was doing something wrong or something. But that know? makes it more fun too. What doing something wrong? Me? No, not me. <laughs> now that but I'm, I'm doing allowed. Doing something wrong. I'm like this is fun. No, now when I, it's like now that I'm a part of, I'm allowed to like now I can invite people to come if I wanted to. That feels nice. <laughs> yeah, it's very it's it's a great feeling, and I I don't have much in this uh, game of show, folks. This uh, biz of show, and uh, this, this biz was, of show. This was one thing that I like have always wanted, and I got it. And I, you know, I'm a I don't really require much. I like stand up, and that's about it. And I like doing the road, and I like headlining clubs, and that's always been very special. But now to like have this sort of validation, it's a little extra special. So I'm very it's excited so about special. it. So special. Uh, but congratulations! Oh, thank you, you so worked much. So hard. It was a long time coming. Thank you. No, I mean it wasn't that long. I I feel like I. No, it is. You've been doing it a while, and you're very good. <laughs> well, comedy. I've been doing it a while. I've only been here for, and at the store well, for. Well, I a mean, few but years. you've been doing comedy for a long. time. Yes, I have, and it's it is alarming it how long. It's alarming how long when I look back on some things. <laughs> I know it's dark. When did, what year did you start? I started in 2008. Technically did, 2007, but I don't count 2007 as starting cuz I didn't know what the fuck I was. I started in 2010. Yeah. Isn't it funny you see somebody really famous and they're like started in like 09 or something. I'm like 
all right, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember, like, just being, um, people being like, yeah, you got to be at least six years in. That's when it happens. And then six years came and went. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, maybe everyone's different. I don't know. Well, I always had minimal goals when it came to things, so. <laughs> I mean, I remember I just was doing fire halls and VFWs, and I'm like, this pays how many hundreds of dollars? I can do this forever. And I thought that's what I would do forever. And then when I had the chance to come out here, I was like, well, maybe I can do more things. And then, you know, this kind of thing was something that, like, you know, you always dreamed about. But, like, will I get to do it? And then you get to do it and you're like, man, there's only, like, a couple hundred people. I mean, there's so many fucking... I can never count the names, but... There's, we should. There's not that. I mean, in terms of like pop an Adderall and count the names on the wall. Yeah. It's just you feel like kind of like a, an astronaut or something in terms of the, the comedy when it happens like that. So I'm very pumped about it. But uh, yeah, so I'm pretty uh, hung over, needless to say, from the last couple nights. Daddy but, had a wild one. Yeah, a wild one. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Celebratory. But let's get into some sports okay. things because I have to address something else, too. Beep, 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 beep. There's not much by way of sports, and some people have called me out. By the way, what do you mean? They're like more stuff about tennis. Oh Potter. no no what no the no hell? no 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 no. Um, people have called me out because I have not discussed the Super Bowl at length, really. Do you want to? You know, and here's the thing. I didn't think I needed to address it. It's just like such a snooze fest. The Chiefs won again. I did have a fun Super Bowl party at the, coincidentally, at the comedy store. I mean, it felt like, I mean, they did it like where you were there for like, this is so funny, by the way. Sarah texts me at like three, like kickoff has just happened. And Sarah's like, should I come to the Super Bowl party? (laughs) I'm like, yeah, it's. The Super Bowl. What else are you going to do? You're like... I'm like, I don't care about football like that. Who cares about the football? It's like, <laughs> there's so much food. It's a party. When Usher... You missed Usher, for the record. It she, wasn't Usher in person. It, it was Usher as, on a screen. <laughs> it might as well have been. Everyone said that at the comedy store. They were like, you missed it, man. It was like a concert in here. I was like, you guys are all high. <laughs> <laughs> we might have been, but... I don't know. We I might have just been high, but I mean, it was so many people in that room, and the lights came down, and Usher came out and I was like people were like yeah yeah I mean I thought I was there (laughs) that's exactly what Kim said too you both have the same report about the Usher halftime show we were right there next to each other I mean well it just when when he changed to another song girls screamed like it was crazy it was like when Ludacris came out girls were like (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, are the we waitresses? Are we screaming, <laughs> yeah, yeah. taking up their panties? I was like, are we at the Super Bowl right now? What? No. Yes. Well, no, it was a crazy party because I was not going to come. And it was a potluck. And I have a thing about potlucks. Like, I don't like too much exposed food from other people's homes. It makes me feel weird. Okay. Um, Like, I don't want to eat your chili dog that you made and then you brought here. I think that's cool. But then. <laughs> yes. When I got there, I you was high as tune. hell. And all of a sudden. I blink and I'm six cookies down, dude. Oh, yeah. I remember you got there and you're like, should I have a cookie? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I mean, it's the Super Bowl. Have whatever you want. And then you had a lot. You had like the stack of cookies. I, had, <laughs> I hit. I did a full sleeve of cookies, sweetie, at the Super Bowl party. I just and then I was like, whoa, because I was eating so clean before that. And then but I was wasn't like, it all so the much processed fun? food in one place. I was like, whoa, Doritos. I haven't seen these in forever. It was so much fun. And you almost missed it because you were it was, thinking it was football centric. There was barely any. I mean, it's the least football football thing. When there's when there's football on, I'm just like, la, 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 like that. Wasn't it exciting? It went to overtime. Oh, everything. yeah, that was exciting. Yeah. It was exciting. I liked when they kept cutting to Taylor. When, everyone, yeah. when I, all the guys would get annoyed. But I'd No like, one got annoyed. There she is with Ice Spice. Go off. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I liked that Taylor Swift was there. It was the only thing that made the Chiefs being back in the Super Bowl interesting to me. And that's why, at the end of the day, the Super Bowl itself was fantastic. I'm sorry I didn't comment on it enough. It's just that it's like... I was mad. I'm not mad that the Chiefs won. I'm just over. I'm over the Chiefs. Did you see I'm the- officially over the Chiefs. They're done to me. They're the new Patriots. I'm sick of Patrick Mahomes. I don't want to live the twilight of my life here. The prime, <laughs> the twilight of my prime. I do not want to spend with another dynasty. I don't 
want it and I'm over it and I'm sick of it and it needs to end after this. I mean, they had their Taylor Swift time. They beat Kyle Shan Kyle Shanahan, by the way, you might be dead to me. I mean, can you <laughs> fucking win a game? I mean, you lost to the Patriots when you were up twenty eight to three. This is the second Super Bowl that ever went to overtime, and guess who lost the other one that went to overtime? Kyle Shanahan. You fucking moron. Beat somebody. You have an attitude. Beat somebody in overtime, Kyle Shanahan. What the fuck, dude? Dude, you got a toot problem, Potter. No, I mean, this guy wanted, you know. <laughs> people wanted to hear my thoughts on the Super Bowl. Here are my thoughts. You, uh, They're not good. They're not, you like, know? nice thoughts. I thought I would, like, you know, I'd kind of, like, gloss over it. We're trying to do yucks on this fucking program. And, no, you want to hear about it? This is it. He flips the table over and gets up. The fucking Chiefs! <laughs> I really am just sick of them. It's done. I mean, Travis Kelsey's going to retire soon. And then Patrick Mahomes has a long time to go. And he does, seems like he doesn't need anybody good on his team with him as far as receivers go. And he can still win. So I'm just um, next year. They're going to get fucking Gabe Davis. They already hired our punter that uh, was accused of the R word. And then he got off. So they were like, now we're going to pick him up. And I watch. He'll be the mo best punter ever. We got rid of him because they were like San Diego State girl was like, he R-worded me, and then we were like, whoa, we don't want an R-word on our team, so I'm not talking about retard either. I'm talking about the other one. What is? It rhymes with grape. Oh! Yeah, he was... Uh, <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to be the R-word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I, uh, I was so confused. I'm glad we specified what R-word. He's a piss. He, they, he was accused of being a pissed... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, turns out it was all nothing. And by then, we had already gotten rid of him. Now the Chiefs just signed him. So watch. He'll be the greatest punter. He'll run in touchdowns in. He'll punt it into the outside, into the atmosphere. I don't know. It's going to be fucking brutal. And then they're going to sign Gabe Davis, and we're going to be... Oh, I hate it. But so there you go. There's my Super Bowl thoughts. Are you happy now? What? Penis. Idiot man. <laughs> Idiot man. That's weird that you said it. I don't like that. What? Don't don't say it just like it. <laughs> I know. I tried to say it just like it. I thought it I hit both of them. Like, it sounded like it. You I said made it. me think that the soundboard was malfunctioning when you, you just did? did that. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. No. Okay. So I mean, let's get out of that. And I mean, there are not much sports. I'm wearing my. Uh, baseball hat today i'm wearing the shield because i'm excited that major league baseball is underway and by the way i don't know if you could pull this up alex uh, it's kind of uh, on the fly here loosey-goosey but major league baseball has new uniforms and what? turns out they're turns out they're a bit of a thirst trap Ooh. damn who's that <laughs> that oh hey sir who is that i don't know i'm bad at i'm bad Scarp at like Scott Barlow. Okay, cool. Scott Barlow. Nice to meet you, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up. <laughs> yes, the Dodgers ones were egregious. I did notice. Uh, there's old Shohei Otani Shoheying his Otani through Not the pants. Much there. To see. I gotta be honest. <laughs> is that Shohei Otani or is that Yamamoto? My bad for being. Uh, it's both. It's both of them. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. Yeah. Shohei Otani. No, we're only on that, the crotches. You're you were crazy. discussing Yamamoto's crotch, not Shohei. Shohei Otani. You can't. He's got a bit of a bulge. He's right? got a bit of a bulge. A bit of a bulge. <laughs> a bit. Nothing like the other guy. A Let's go bit. back to the long not you, king. Not you. <laughs> Who is that man? <laughs> not, oh, when are we going to see a baseball game, Potter? <laughs> not you throwing shade to Yamamoto. The I'm not. The pants did it. He got betrayed by the pants. He did. He got betrayed by the pants. Him. <laughs> stuff your pants, bro. If the shorts are going to be see-through, we got to wear padded bras. There you go. So, yeah, I mean, this is happening now. And, I mean, we might see some action in baseball this year. So get excited, folks. Uh, spring training's underway. I might be a Reds guy this year. I might year, be I at spring training. Yeah, I might go when I go down to March 15th. Chandler, Arizona, two shows at the Mike Drop Comedy Club. Come by and I'll wear these see-through pants. <laughs> come, come by and see my ass. But I, uh, I'm going to go to spring training when I'm down there. So we'll Damn, see how, how it goes. That sounds awesome. Hell yes. Today's Josh Potter show is brought to us by my favorite app on my entire phone. It's given me so much access to so many fun things already in 2024. It is the Game Time app, folks. You know how amazing it feels when you get tickets you want at a great price? Well, it feels good every 
freaking time with game time game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports all the music all the comedy and all the theater near you their game time guarantee actually will credit you 110 percent of the difference if you find tickets in the same section in row for less so you'll always come out on top using the game time app and if you want to even uh, just double check them go around and look go around and see if those other prices are are lower and if they are like i said the game time guarantee will credit you with 110 percent of the difference i just went to the sabers game i say the sabers game it was the king's game but the sabers came here they come here once a year and i could not wait it's my favorite hockey game of the year i only get to see my beloved buffalo sabers once every season in the nhl because they only come out here one time and so i look forward to it and i needed great seats i wanted to have the best time i could have and game time actually showed me some seats that i didn't even know existed in the crypto.com arena and once i checked those out i couldn't believe how cheap they were they were a great price so thank you to the game time for pointing that out and also they give you a 360 degree view of all the seats when you're picking them you can go along and select them and see what the view that you will be seeing in the stadium or in the theater or wherever it is you get to check all that out prior to buying them so they've got flash deals zone deals and all the info you need to make sure you're getting the best seats at the best price so take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code potter for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms apply again create an account and redeem code p-o-t-t-e-r for twenty dollars off download game time today last minute tickets lowest prices guaranteed Well, I also got an email from Ashley McCollum because now is the time when football is over. Hockey is uh, leading towards the playoffs. Basketball, who the hell knows what it's doing because I don't pay attention to it. Uh, But this is involving motocross, evidently, which is a, a, a little bit of a fringe sport, but I'm excited to discuss it. So Ashley sent me this email. She said, Barstool already got to this, but God damn, it's wild. I'm a big Supercross fan, and this is nuts. Homie had a mishap that ripped his moto pants. Ooh, another ball exposure, yeah, I guess. Yeah, this is the best episode ever. <laughs> yeah, it turns out the f- sports uh, section is a lot about fashion. Uh, so it says here he rode the whole race with his dong out. I know this no. is unfamiliar to the roach, but riding with your balls out is, uh, with the amount of bounce happening, is bold. Most races racers would just pull off and not race anymore. This sport is physically demanding and very public i'm still shook he's a contender for the championship so i understand getting to 15th after the first turn crash with your dick out deserves an award do we have anything from this uh do we i mean we can't like show its penis we'll give him a roachy award so for we, this we an image uh, where they censored out it, it flopping out and then he goes on to talk about it damn nuts out on the moto bike <laughs> that's crazy it's like 50 feet in the air too <laughs> My uh, soundboard is muted. Is that because your screen is muted? Um, Oh, there we go. We're back chilling in the hotel room. That's him. I had (laughs) an interesting day. Why Um, are you doing this shirtless, by the way, after you just had your dong fall? I was just kind of trying to work into things. Can I say something? Uh, Pause it real quick. Hate to come for him, but more feminine than I thought he was going to be as a <laughs> motocross racer with his balls out. Well, I was probably expecting like, his eyebrows are well groomed. <laughs> like I am turned around here, thrown off all, completely. She's this in is a pretzel. not who I thought his balls were going to be out in Detroit on a <laughs> moto bike. She's all in a pretzel, folks. Uh, also, here's if he the thing. had a boyfriend, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. I'm not saying that gays can't do motocross; just more <laughs> rare. In my opinion. Well, I I, I guess he kind of looks like a motocross guy to me because of the fact that, like, I just think of, like, boyish, like, wow, what's up, dude? Like, I maybe, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry that that's uh, demeaning. You're, are you demeaning the moto community, Potter? They're going to come for you. Here's the thing. If I just did a race where my... Okay, there uh, he, his wh- eyebrows are just a little too on fleek. <laughs> Could we do a little less with the eyebrows? He's what are you? Do, getting them done too much. Sorry. You think he's getting them done? Trust me, nobody's eyebrows just look like that. Yeah, those are perfect. Those are perfect. I wonder uh, if his uh, penis was groomed <laughs> as well. <laughs> but here's the thing: you have just, ex- I guess, if you're this strapping uh, of a young man, you don't care that your penis was out while you race. You're like, you're yeah, nuts. I lay my nuts out on the line. But 
to then address it, and we are going to hear the rest of his statement. I would like to hear what he has to say because he was all like, <laughs> shucks, you know? <laughs> sometimes you're, I just, you know, sometimes your pe- your balls just fall out of your pants. and then. But why does he have to do it basically naked in bed? Make the statement like, you know, put a shirt on and it talk about it. It makes me think he likes it. Yeah, he's like, oh, so you got a glimpse of the sack. Now get a glimpse of the rest of it. You like what you see? It's a see? shame I have to cover up with these Pants. outfits that I have to wear covering my whole body and protecting me from burns. All right, rewind it, and uh, let's start it from when he's like, <laughs> I yeah, just, my something happened. Came my uh, penis came out of my pants. Go I'm ahead. chilling in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah, are you? Sexual. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's an interesting day. I'm going to parody this video. Struggle with some stuff you in practice. You should. was just kind of trying to work into things. and um, Got a heat race win, which was nice after that. Like mm, after tell us the headline. So much in practice, but um, got a heat win. And then uh, was kind of victim to some carnage off the start. I shouldn't say victim. I guess. Carnage? Was involved in a big pile up off the start. Um, and. My bike was hooked together with actually my teammate's bike for probably a whole lap, just over a whole lap before we got our bikes back up. Um, and as I'm sure everyone, oh, it's a girl from the two feet. Can't wait to suck I it. <laughs> took a handlebar. She already in front sucked of my pants, it. <laughs> ripped like the entire front of my pants completely wide open. So wait, hold this. I raced the. Uh, hold this! I'm flicking my I raced the entire main with <laughs> Everything, everything out. Is so, he married? That was that's interesting. A ring. Uh, painful, Whoa. but that's that's what we were working with. Ooh, look at her. <laughs> yeah, let's see her. <laughs> okay, he's not so, gay. I think he's married. So yeah, yeah to yeah, this lady. Up, to this real I lady. Know, I think fifteenth or something. Why is she we so close? Down by the time I got going, but um, yeah, back at the room hanging and are you? <laughs> Type in and find out this lady who this lady is. I don't want to get, hear him talk shirtless anymore. I want to see. I this. know I've had it with him. I want to see who this chick is. At least you know before I like a little something for myself. He's Maddie McAdoo. Maddie McAdoo. Oh, he's married to Ma- just two McAdoo's. Damn. She's cute. Hell yeah! All right, well, good for you, pal, and uh, glad you didn't lose your sack on the <laughs> motocross race because boy, oh boy, it would be a shame if you never got to experience your sack. Being in that mouth ever again, I gotta tell you, <laughs> it would be a real shame. I hope you got many kisses better. Let me kiss it better. Shout out to the Madu family. The Macadu. Oh my bad. <laughs> the Magoos. The Magoos. I just keep saying the wrong names. It's the Macadu clan, folks. Cameron Mac is that Cameron Macadu? Yeah. Okay. Anywho, let's get to the news. And we have to get serious now. We can't talk about any uh, more, you know, rainbows, unicorns, and balls falling out of pants. We can't, we have to get serious. You got to see enough dick for today, all right? No, I didn't. Well, if you I was think, just warming up, Potter. Well, if you like that, you'll like this. Coming <laughs> to us from Jonathan Morell. We have a case of domestic semen terrorism. Look at that guy right there. You can tell it's not a foreign man. It's a domestic situation. Oh, yeah. He looks like he would just come on someone. The, uh, Tim McVeigh of sorts of <laughs> semen terrorism. He uh, really is. The rideshare driver who picked up Jason Robert Haggerty last Saturday and drove him home in Florida had no idea what he was in for, but he recorded it on his cell phone. According to the rest report, Haggerty sat in the front passenger seat of the victim's vehicle on his way home. Uh, that's when the report said the defendant displayed and exposed his penis and then began to masturbate the duration of the ride until arriving at his residence. Ugh, ugh, ugh. He looks like he would do that. One star, one star. <laughs> ugh. At least, at the very least, I mean, hey, God bless the driver who's just like, uh, if you need if you need the temperature change or anything, let me know. Uh, if you want, do you want any mu- specific music play? Oh, you're gonna crank your dick. Okay. Uh, There's Kleenex in the glove compartment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I also have an extra sock. You need an iPhone charger? You watching porn? <laughs> oh my god! The fact that he 
just didn't pull over and like get the fuck out of my car is crazy the victim speaks no english well that makes so then he just finished the ride he's like you know you could just still say no <laughs> go even if you didn't yeah no and stop i think are two words that i i would know if i was driving or people I, around you don't even need to say anything you could just pull over stop arrête is an arrest stop in French? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I just know that from signs. Is it what? It, what is stop in Spanish? Alto. Para. Wow. What is it? Para. 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 Or is it para? I don't know. He said you it. You said like, it like you said it appropriationally. I yeah. Well, uh, why I'm are a you valley talk- girl trying to speak Spanish? Alex, you know Spanish, don't you? You just you said don't have it. to type it in for me. Or are you just saying well, it like I mean, you're saying it too Spanish for me? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> that also could be fully wrong and I'm a very bad Puerto Rican so oh okay he's Puerto vocal. Rican sorry everybody same well you're both bad then cause you're like <laughs> muy bien she's over here like para lo siento anywho <laughs> yeah nope you're right it's alto Sarah I fucked up I was right I was wow like, hey. one thing about mommy she's gonna pull through every once in a while <laughs> cheers she's got a little Spanish up in there I don't know where that I know I know that and like uh, two other words Libra book Libra oh book I thought you were just naming signs now in Gemini that means <laughs> <laughs> I also wasn't wrong but out is another one nice you can do both all right 21 countries pick your favorite anywho whatever language this guy spoke he couldn't <laughs> figure it out so he just let him JSD in the back seat of this car. He was unable to tell the defendant to stop, evidently, and as a result, the victim used his cell phone to record the defendant masturbating, which probably made it go a lot easier for the guys. Like, oh, you're gonna film me doing this? Cool. He probably liked probably it. Probably jane it even harder then. <laughs> the victim told officers that the defendant did ejaculate Ugh. inside of his vehicle before arriving at his residence. He's like, oh, holy, I'll pull over right here. All right, cool. Well, I'll, ch- I'll see you later. Five stars. Hey, that was great. Thanks for the lotion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> oh, boy. So, yes, he did ejaculate. If you were wondering, he did come to full completion inside the vehicle uh, before arriving at his residence. And in order to continue working, the man had to personally clean the seminal fluid no, no. from his own vehicle. This no. is a dom- look at here. He is the domestic semen terrorist. Hey, I'm just uh, don't mind me. I'm gonna crank my dick back here. It's a, I. This guy, you gotta respect the uh, d- the desire to be efficient. I mean, he's just you know. Sometimes you know when I'm in an Uber, I like to do some emails. <laughs> I like to maybe I'll do an Instagram schedule an Instagram post for uh, the next day, something like that. This guy's like, what what am I jerking off at home for when I can just do it on the way? You know. That's wild. And hell, when I get home. I want to relax. Why would I masturbate? This guy's just using his time efficiently, but he is still a semen terrorist. It turned out the driver and his front seat passenger were not alone while the activity was happening. What? There There was was a a front front seat seat passenger? (laughs) All right. Well, this Uber is, I mean, if there's a front seat passenger in my Uber, I am getting out. This this is an Uber pool situation. Imagine, he, it seems like he jade his <laughs> D be. in an Uber pool. That that's would be, crazy. That would be that's, insane. That's actually not surprising about an Uber pool. <laughs> I would, I've only done one once, and it was like I was taking a city bus that was a Honda. <laughs> It was crazy. A guy walked in with like a boom box. I was like, what are we doing here? And it was bananas. And I'll never, ever, ever. I don't care if this thing, if this thing sinks to the bottom of the ocean there, you won't. You, I will eat at a soup kitchen before I take an Uber pool ever again. I got to tell you. So this guy is in an Uber pool and he's cranking his. Dick. It is like it's like a subway. It's. That awful. Is wild, dude, it's dude. worse. He got in the passenger seat and started cranking it next to the driver. It was just the oh, two of them. He was, in he the was sitting in the passenger seat. seat. He didn't even have the respect to get in the back. But it says there was a third unknown person yeah. in the back seat of the vehicle, the arrest report confirmed. That witnessed the incident and spoke up for the victim at the conclusion of the ride. He's like, Yeah, he was cranking it. <laughs> Haggerty, a 46 year old <laughs> nurse practitioner. These are the people that work in your hospitals. Haggerty? Haggerty. Poor Haggerty, dude. No, that's the guy, a 46-year-old oh. nurse practitioner. <laughs> I w- Sorry, I misgendered the nurse. I mean, hey, if this was 2020 when the nurses were, we were banging pots and pans outside for him, <laughs> we would have to let this man jerk off. Maybe he's just still carrying that uh, <laughs> sense of entitlement that 
people in the medical field should have had after COVID. He just was like, I'm a nurse. I'm a hero. <laughs> I <laughs> was I on the <laughs> I was on the front lines of the pandemic. I get to jerk off in every Uber pool that I get to go in. That's part of my uh, what I what I deserve. <laughs> he was charged with exposure of sexual organs and arrested five days later on February 1st. He spent more than 25 hours in jail before he was released on his own reconnaissance. So he's out there again, folks. Get Look out in your Uber pools. They should tell you who the other people are going to be in the Uber pools, and you should be able to see their fucking profiles. Yeah, and you should be able to know if they're on any lists. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's scary out there in the Uber pool, folks. Ugh. Do not do it. Dude, if someone starts J in their D and I'm in the Uber pool, I'm Take a bus. Them. Take a <laughs> bus. I'm pepper spraying them. Yeah, I mean, I would hope so. Put it away, bro. Didn't you have a thing in an instant recent? Oh no, I was just thinking about when we were at the comedy store and a guy just uh, this is <laughs> this is how wild. I don't. So Sarah also had another experience where like she was around very 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 pretty people and one of them like <laughs> threw shade to her and I was like, oh, so you didn't feel as pretty as the rest <laughs> of you? I'm like, welcome to my entire existence. But. Uh, then we were standing outside talking about this and a guy, just some random guy, walks out of the <laughs> comedy store and he goes, I've seen you on Instagram. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah, what he and, and, and it's like, okay. And he goes, I don't follow you, but I probably should now. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is what he said. And he's like, are you performing tonight? And you're like, yeah, I'm going up next. And he's like, oh, okay, good. And then he looked at you. And, and then he goes, <laughs> sorry about this, but you're just so beautiful. <laughs> And we're like, you're like, okay. And I'm just standing there. And he's like, no, like really beautiful. <laughs> I was like, all right, man. You're like, you know and what I mean? He goes, he goes, I'm married. Sorry. Did he say that? Yes. I didn't hear that part. He said, I'm happily married. Sorry. And then he apologized to you. And then he was weird and walked away. It was. It was. Being a woman is such hell, I'd imagine. I can't weird even, as hell, yeah. dude. That, that was weird as hell. Like, if that happened to me in some, like, even if she wasn't attractive or somebody, I would be, I have such low self-esteem, I would be like, a person thought I was beautiful. That's crazy. <laughs> I would, like, be, like, walking on air after that, you know? But that guy just was like, you're so bad. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen you on Instagram. That was just the most wild shit he I've said, ever. I don't follow you, but I probably should. <laughs> and then we're just like we were having a conversation, and he just appeared out of the ether and made it weird. It was so awkward. <laughs> it was crazy. Well, I got another email here. By the way, Josh Potter Show at Gmail dot com is where you can send things in. And thanks to brothers, by the way, for sending in that musical number we'll yeah, hear a little again at the end of the program amazing uh but this next story comes to us by way of shane lyons and he wrote to me he says hey josh this one seems up your alley man who received the donated heart of a guy who committed uh you know uh, slip and slide is what they call it <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, good old-fashioned slip and slide the kids call it you know what's funny is we have to like skirt around all these words for YouTube but also like it's just created new words like now kids are like TikTok generation kids are going around being like he KMS'd what is that killed myself or whatever he killed oh. or they he's unalived you know like they use these what? words but these are like the new words people are just Those are so, so like dumb. what's you, the difference though now we're just saying that instead, instead. Of death he yeah, un yeah he's unalived so this guy suicided himself here it seems and uh <laughs> so he received the heart the donated heart of a guy who committed suicide and then he marries the donor's widow and then later commits no. suicide himself dude so we got to see what's going on with this lady <laughs> Uh, but Shane said, pleased to be seeing you in e Emmaus, Pennsylvania. I'm going to get that right. And you Tim Butterly's right. coming. So come on out, folks. May 31st is when that's happening at the Emmaus Theater. Tickets are on sale now. Click the link in the thing. So let's hear this uh, article because this lady sounds sus to me. We don't like is a she sus like, lady. Is she like Hillary Clinton? Are they killing themselves in like oh this guy he hung himself with a bullet hole in his brain you know what i mean that kind of thing Whoa. uh but no let's see how they did it and what's going on maybe the woman isn't 
uh, at fault in any way. Are she's you just blaming a, the victim. Maybe the <laughs> maybe the woman's just a drip, and these people couldn't be around her, and they kill themselves. Or is it the heart's fault? Maybe it's like this heart wants what it wants. Is a it's a dark heart. It's a black heart, and it just it kills it. Makes the person who has the heart want, want to, to do that them. so and also does it make the person who has the heart fall in love with this woman like does the heart decide it's is, is the she, heart sentient maybe the woman is a witch and she put a spell on the heart we'll and, find out in the article the men. and the well the heart goes in the men and then that's how it happens oh, god <laughs> uh my grandfather received a pig's valve in his Ooh. heart and then he never ate bacon again because he was like i can't do that i'm part no. <laughs> no. Yes. So here we see. <laughs> That's crazy, Josh. <laughs> a man I can't who. <laughs> that. I'm, I'm part pig now. <laughs> he just thought he goes. I can't. I owe this pig my life. It gave me ten more years. I can't eat. Oink, bacon. Oink. Can't eat bacon anymore. <laughs> so a man who received a heart transplant twelve years ago and later married the donor's widow died the same way the donor did. Authorities said of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. No foul Ooh. play suspected in the 69-year-old Sonny Graham's death. Uh, I hate when this thing does that. It just scrolls. I'm bad at the uh, computer still, folks. Bad at the computer still. So, yeah, 69-year-old Sonny Graham's death at his Vidalia, Georgia home, investigators said he was found Tuesday in a utility building in his backyard with a single shotgun wound to the throat. I don't know why that made me laugh. Things like that make me <laughs> things like that make me laugh. I don't know dark, why. Dark guy. I'm just a dark, dark boy <laughs> who hears like a guy went into a shed in the backyard and just shot himself in the throat. He's LOLing. A little I don't know why that. Makes me laugh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what it does to me. It just—it's just like <laughs> such a fucked up way to just go. I'm going out in the shed and just putting the gun to my. I'm throat. an old yeller myself in the shed. <laughs> yeah, Graham, who was director of the Heritage Golf Tournament in the Sea Pine in Sea Pines from 1979 to 1983, was on the verge of congestive heart failure in 1995 when he got a call that a heart became available in Charleston. That heart was from Terry Cottle, 33, who had shot himself. Grateful for this new heart, Graham began writing letters to the donor's family to thank them. In January of 97, Graham met his donor's widow, Cheryl Cottle, then 28, in Charleston. Wow, she's 28. What a young lady. What a young Then young 28. Oh, okay. I don't she know. was once a young lady, but <laughs> time has uh, happened. I felt like I had known her for years. That's because your new heart was telling That's me. That's what I'm saying. The heart is sentient, dude. The heart wants what the heart wants. I, That's real. I just couldn't keep my eyes off her. I just stared. In 2001, Graham bought a home for the woman and her four children in Georgia. Four children. Three years later, they were married after Graham retired from his job as a plant manager for the Hargrave Communications in Hilton Head. From their previous marriages, the couple had six children and six grandchildren scattered across South Carolina and Georgia. Cheryl Graham, now 39, has worked at several hospices. In she has grandkids at 39? They do things different in Georgia. 39? <laughs> yeah, imagine having... Golly! I don't even. I can't. I can't even imagine having a, a kid. I barely am get. I'm barely coming to terms with having a nephew. You know what I mean? I know. You know what I mean? Anyhow, I do know what you mean. Sonny Graham's friends said he would be remembered for his willingness to help. Uh, so, anytime someone had a problem, the first reaction was call Sonny Graham. So they're giving all his. They're sucking this guy's dick in the end of this thing. But we don't have any sort of insight. I mean, folks, this is banana land. That is... It's the heart. The heart is cursed. Do not give it to somebody else. The heart is cursed. I would You're if, right. It's like a story. Like a scary children's book Yeah, story. it's like... I just hear music. It's like... <laughs> like the beginning of Beauty and the Beast when it's like telling the story yeah, of like Yeah, he was the, picturing Beauty and the Beast too. You know the beginning where it's like the, the spooky music <laughs> and yeah, yeah, the yeah. lady shows up and he's like, get away from me, you ugly woman. And then <laughs> yeah. she gets a spell on her. That's what this heart, the woman has put a spell on the heart and then she just puts it in these new vessels and they fall in love with her until they can't take it anymore and they shoot themselves in the <laughs> Dude, shed. <laughs> that's crazy. I want to know if the third husband killed himself. Has she remarried? Well, this just happened, so we got to find out. We got to get the heart out. Hi, you know what? I yeah, I get the heart out, put it in someone else. <laughs> Let's go, yes. Yeah, Cheryl. Get that heart. 
I'll take the heart. No. <laughs> No, I want to get married. No. I want to get married, Cheryl. No. I'll fall for you. Give me the heart, Cheryl. I don't want you going out like Cheryl's ex is. Let's see what Cheryl looks like. Can we find her? I mean, good golly. Who's my future <laughs> wife? Transplant my heart. Take my heart. You got a fresh one now, you know, and you can do whatever you want. Make another you got spell. a fresh, healthy one. Give me the sick heart. I no, want... my heart. Who knows what my heart's doing? I have no idea if my heart's healthy. Are you <laughs> well, kidding me? I don't me? know. My friend, I'm 38 years old. My friend. From my one of my best friends, Chris from high school, talk to him almost every day. He tells me the other day he's on cholesterol medication, and he's tall and skinny. He's just thirty eight, and he has high cholesterol. Like, what is happening? You know what's happening. Give me that heart so I can fall in love and then take myself <laughs> out to the shed already because I can't do it anymore. <laughs> you want her? Ugh. <laughs> No wonder she had to put a spell on that heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, T Bone sent something in. This one's interesting. This one might uh, tickle your fancy. Talk about you know see through stuff earlier. You know we were oh, talking about dicks mo- falling out. Let's see here. So this comes to us by way of T Bone. It's easy to stifle your aches and pains with some good old fashioned ibuprofen, but they're not only supposed to be used or they're only supposed to be used in moderation, excuse me. Taking too many can cause even more damage to your health and has some pretty dangerous consequences. Is this just like a... Did Kirsten accidentally just put a PSA at the top of this thing? (laughs) Okay, so um, the takeaway, take less Tylenol. Yeah, but what does that have to do with this article? Grim consequences suffered after taking... I mean, yeah, of course, he took 1,176 ibuprofen tablets... Is of that you're okay? Have that's the article. That wasn't the one. That's the title of the article that I'm looking. at. I thought I was going to read about this guy who found it. it took an MRI and the, and the gun exploded. MRI gun. We have that one too. I don't care. I'm skipping both of them. Sorry, T Bone. It just was. <laughs> oh. So yeah, don't take a lot of ibuprofen. A guy took how many? Eleven hundred thousand. Yeah, I think I know the difference. Sometimes I wonder I'm overtaking certain things, and I go. All right, I just had two. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah, you have three. You feel like you're living on edge. There's someone pounding 1,176 ibuprofen tablets. Yeah, of course they're going to have side effects. And the other story T-Bone put in there, and I, I don't have the article on, in front of me, but it was a story about a guy who went into uh, an MRI with a gun. We found it. They're actually part of the same article. They were just listed on the same page. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know where they are, but it doesn't make a difference. I just thought it was hilarious that a guy was like, you know, they when you go in for an MRI, don't they make you take off like your earrings and like your yeah, they do. watch? This guy's like, oh yeah, take off my watch shirt. I'm going to leave my gun in my pocket. That though. is so crazy. I wonder if there's a picture of the MRI with the gun. That would I mean, be- he got shot from it. It went off. What? The gun went off. Yeah, because it's all magnets and shit. So, so the the gun went off in the MRI? Yes. No. MRIs are scary enough. I just had one. They already sound like guns hell. are going off. Yeah. King gong, king gong, king. You're like, what the is that? fuck is going on? I, I've only gotten it once, and I'm not... I'm not like claustrophobic or anything, so I was fine in there, but they really kind of like geary up. I'm like, should I be scared of this yeah, thing? Because no. they're like, listen, it's going to be tight in there. Yeah, they do. I can just close my eyes and like I can take a 15 minute nap. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. They started tripping me out, too. And then it was so loud. It's so it sounds loud. Sounds like someone's banging pots and pans. <laughs> Is it supposed to do that? You yeah. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes to us by way of uh, Jefferson Nally. Uh, and I thought this headline was interesting. It said, woman found dead in alligator mouth. I think if you find a lady in an alligator <laughs> mouth, chances are she's going to be dead. Yeah. What do you find a live woman? in a, If I found a live woman in an alligator mouth, I'd be really concerned. You know, a Florida family in shambles after a mother was found dead in the Damn, mouth of an I'm alligator. All. She was, I just think it's just such a funny thing to say. She was found dead in the mouth of an alligator. Yeah, you could just say she was found in the mouth of an alligator. Or or the, she was eaten by an alligator. Like, (laughs) they found her in the mouth of the alligator. Like, Who's uh, writing this? Yeah, the alligator killed the woman. I mean, to be like, to act like she just (laughs) like, she tripped and fell into the mouth of an alligator and she was found dead there. That's crazy. Authorities responded to a call in Largo in the Tampa Bay area about a gator in the water. I, Florida, you are a jungle. I do not understand how people live there. I mean, it is Jurassic Park everywhere. <laughs> Gators. Uh, 
I everyone like talks about you know the homeless in LA, mm-hmm. and I, I I think there's homeless in Florida, but here's the thing: there's probably less of them because the alligators just clean them up. <laughs> so I said we got to just hire an. I mean, we we just had a mayoral election. Let's just elect a fucking alligator to be mayor of Los Angeles so we can get him out there and clean up the streets. Yeah, just let a couple gators loose downtown. We'll get those shanty towns cleaned up it's real not quick. A bad idea. I don't know if they could live in our climate, but oh. they live out there in Florida. I remember I was at a gig with Tom. I don't know if I told the story on here or if I told it on Patreon. I was doing a gig with Tom in Florida, Lakeland, Florida or something like that. And I'm sitting there and uh, I'm having a cigarette outside. And one of the security people and I are talking and there's like a lake over there across the way. And I'm like looking at it where he goes, yeah, there was a gator in there. Ate three people. And I'm like, what? I'm like, have they put it down? They're like, no, it's still there. I'm like, <laughs> what? So just like. You have this monster roaming the streets like and I, I thought about it. I go, oh, they were homeless people. That's why they don't care. They're probably good. Yeah. They like they probably want him to run for office. This fucking That's alligator. crazy. I'm imagining like hungry, hungry hippos, but it's gators and the balls are homeless people. Yeah. It's, it was just like homeless people are like, I'm going to take a nap near this little lake. And then a gator's like, mah, mah, mah. like that. <laughs> if I was a homeless person, that would be the best. I go, just eat me gator. You want to go out from a gator? No. If I'm a hobo and I'm just like, how am I going to get my meth tomorrow? I don't know. Just eat me gator. Figure it out. Anyway, this wasn't a homeless person. This was a mother, evidently. That's sad. Yes. That makes it sad. Well, I mean, I wonder how she got in there because they keep saying she was found in the mouth, dead. Maybe she didn't die in the mouth. Maybe the the alligator found her dead and was like, oh. Snack. Now just she's found snack. in. They just said she was found in the mouth. Let's find out. Sabrina was loved by many. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we know. <laughs> uh, we bet she was. Wait a second here. Peckham was homeless and had no funeral arrangements set up. Her daughter wrote, so she was, was homeless. homeless? Uh, no. Bum bum bum. <laughs> Turns out every victim of a gator is a hobo. <laughs> I hear. I thought. I go. This person wasn't homeless. She was a mother. Nope, a mother who was homeless. You can how be does a, homeless a mother? Mama. How does a woman be homeless? I really don't know. I mean, oh, what? trust me, I know. Weird. How do you know? Because times the makeup, the cost of makeup, it's easy to Hilarious. be a homeless woman. She's gonna Sephora's gonna put her in the streets, folks. It is <laughs> Sephora and gel manicures. Gel man, yeah. The nails I heard have gone up exponentially. You drop at least a hundred dollars for the nails. Yeah, and oh, they last God. two weeks. Yeah. I bet. I mean, I couldn't even keep them for a day. I I would imagine I'd be breaking them. I would like to see you with fake nails. I don't think we need to do that. (laughs) Doris. It would be fun for me. (laughs) Doris said she was seeking money for cremation and burial expenses after the sudden tragic loss of the mother. I mean, uh, here's my question. How much is left to uh, bury or cremate? Isn't it in the alligator? (laughs) That is... What do you exhume it like Jaws? You got the kitten boy all over the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Alligators have been spotted in the area before, but resident Jennifer Dean told CNN uh, that she had never seen one this large. A lot of my neighbors were out here, and they're the ones that told me about the gator. While we were standing here, we heard a shot. I assume they killed the gator. Witness Jamarcus Bullard said, that uh, he saw an alligator with a body in its mouth. <laughs> You're laughing at all this sick. I know. I like it. It's design. bad. That's it's the like, problem. With he ha- killed himself. <laughs> That's the problem with having this in my home. Uh, I could tell there was a body in its mouth, so I started recording. Oh, great. First instinct. There's a body in its mouth. I'm putting this on Instagram. Yeah, this is going to get so many likes. It's going to be all over TikTok. Yeah, I went Can't viral, it. dude. Not to call someone to maybe get the body out of the <laughs> mouth. Whose body is that? I don't care. Let's record it. I could tell there was a body. Yes, okay. Officials humanely killed the 13-foot, 8.5-inch male gator, according to the Sheriff's Office and the Florida Wildlife Conversation Commission. So maybe they did pull him out of the, the old gator's mouth. Next up. Let's uh, get into a story of oh, oh, murder. I like playing them both at the same time. Now, that was a fun little discovery I made last week. They're in like a chorus. What's wrong? Me? Yeah. Oh, I was reading the headline. She's and dissociating. It's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> well, don't read ahead. I'm sorry. I got excited. And I don't know if you saw the same one that I saw. Oh, but well, okay. Sorry. OnlyFans model 
Yeah. Murdered. Oh, oh, murdered. <laughs> Instagram model Miss Mercedes Moore was found dead by her father, strangled no. at the bottom of the stairs of her Houston apartment while her stalker killer stabbed himself in the neck after spending two days writing messages on the walls of her home with lipstick. That is scary as hell. That is like the shining. <laughs> That's not like with the lipstick. shining. Instead of being at the typewriter, she's just scribbling things on the wall. It seems crazy. Now, when this man came up to you and was like, lipstick? I've seen you on Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to be stabbing his neck. Mm, Yep. Moore, 33, was found dead on Sunday by her father, Mark Gagnier. Her killer was Kevin Alexander Acorto, 34, a Florida man who was, uh, her family says, stalking her online. Police (gasps) have still not been able to make a connection between the pair, but Moore, whose real name was Janae Gagnier, had an enormous following across multiple Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and OnlyFans accounts. On Wednesday, her father revealed in an interview with ABC News that Accordo had been in the house for two days writing on the walls before they went into the house. The family thinks she had been dead since no. Saturday no. when they last heard from her. It says, I wish I never loved her in lipstick. That's so scary. Ooh, is that the lipstick stuff? That's Ooh. so scary. I wish I never loved... At least this was lipstick and not I blood. I should have stayed in Florida. <laughs> yeah, that is some shining shit. I was used. No, no, no. Oh, my God. I want to put these on my fucking <laughs> wall, too. Uh, I uh, should have stayed in Florida. <laughs> it's such a funny and one lipstick. to write after you murdered a girl. I should have stayed in Florida. <laughs> Damn it. What did I do? I should have stayed in Florida. God, 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 God. <laughs> <laughs> no one says that before they slice open their neck. Should have stayed in Florida. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, I should have stayed in Florida. It sounds like a country song. <laughs> I should have stayed in Florida. Go to the top. Let's see. This all is a country song. What was the top one say? It's not my I wish fault. I never loved her. That's a country song. I wish I never loved her. I should have stayed in Florida. <laughs> I was used. <laughs> what else do they say? Is there got another one in there? What does that one say? Sorry to the... To the landlord? Oh, my God. He's <laughs> he's nuts. I don't think you're going to get back your security deposits. <laughs> sorry to the landlord who has to clean this up. Does anyone have a makeup wipe for the door? <laughs> I'm sorry to the landlord. I should have stayed in Florida. I never wish I never loved oh, her. <laughs> sorry to the landlord. I took my... I don't Those are all. Know. That's a. That sounds I like heard a, a lot of people. Wait, I heard a lot of people. Is that what that says? I also think that after the landlord, it says in the company, like the rental company. Mm. Which fuck but that one guy. says, I heard a lot of people. <laughs> this is just like a track list for a country album. I should have stayed in Florida. I sh- that's going to be the name of the episode. I, I should have stayed, stayed in Florida. Florida. It's not my fault. I adored you. My I should have stayed in Florida. <laughs> my homeless mother's body was found inside a game. I'm sorry to the landlord. <laughs> I definitely should have stayed in Florida. Oh my god, what a fucking... And then the banjo comes in right now. Oh. I can't do banjo. <laughs> I should have stayed in Florida. Now a fiddle. <laughs> I can't do a fiddle. I can't do a fiddle. Who am I can? The fiddle was rogue as hell, Potter. I'm sorry. It was bad. It was <laughs> awful. Was like, <laughs> I, was like, I can't do it. It sounded like I'm not even gonna say. What did it sound like? It sounded like <laughs> Asian music or something. No, say it. Get us. Can- we need to be canceled. We need a little some heat on this. <gasps> I should have stayed in Florida. <laughs> All right. Let's get to one before we end here. One okay. last one. Snake Mom sent this in. A, I believe a first time Roach <laughs> Snake reporter. Mom. Snake Mom sending this into Josh Potter Show at gmail.com. Yes, indeed. A Florida woman. Man, Florida just. <laughs> I guess. I mean, is that just odds? I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't curate Florida being in every story, but it just so happens. It always seems to be the case. Yes. Should have stayed in in Florida. Florida. A Florida woman who was accused in the 2022 murder. Uh, uh, 
murder of her husband is now pregnant reportedly by a male inmate who passed a glove with semen on it through an air conditioning vent at a Miami jail. Whoa. Now, if that isn't a miracle, baby, I don't know what is. I mean, you hear like... Come in a glove, pass it through the vent. You know, you hear about <laughs> stories where it's like, Look at I, I, I was born in vitro because my mother couldn't have kids and I was a miracle. <laughs> like, we figured it like... Through medical science, I got to be <laughs> a miracle. In this case, you, if you are this child, you were jizzed into a, a glove. glove. <laughs> it By your dad. Your and dad jizzed into a glove. Your father came into a glove, passed you through an air conditioning <laughs> vent. So not only did you, as a sperm, pass through the penis and out the other side but now you're in a glove you're transported through an air conditioning vent you get to the other side and now you have to also race the other sperm to the egg (laughs) i mean a hell of a journey a hell of a journey i mean this might be the next president of the united states this person i don't know i mean this might be is this jesus started from the bottom now we're here is this (laughs) jesus I the Messiah? It, yeah, I think this is how the new Messiah is born. We're going to find out. Nutted into a glove. Nutted into a glove, passed through an air conditioning <laughs> event, and then through the miracle of, <laughs> I mean, golly. I wonder how uh, she got it up there. Just turkey baster? Like, how do you? She just scooped it out of the glove and put it inside. I don't know. How, I don't I, know. How finding far out, deep does it need to go for that to? This I do not know, miss. Okay. <laughs> You don't know much about fertility like that? No, not like that. Not when it comes... I thought, like, when jizz comes out of the penis, it just is like a vampire that's in the sunlight. It's like... But But evidently... (laughs) Evidently, it lives. Do the act out again. (laughs) 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 Sorry, that really got me. I wasn't ready for the... (laughs) For that, uh, <laughs> the dramatic mm, withering away. Daisy Ling, charged with second degree murder in the death of her husband, requested Damn. through her attorney on Wednesday to be taken out of jail and on to house arrest, according to a local NBC affiliate. Uh, Link allegedly shot her husband in the leg on June 25th of 2022 outside their homestead home. I think I hit a major artery. You'll be fine. A video shows Link reportedly no. saying to the husband who later died. <laughs> I think I hit an artery. You'll be all right. Damn, that's fucked though. Like it's I don't. She was probably pissed at him. She didn't even really mean to kill him. She shoots him in the leg, thinking it's benign. Yep. Probably tried to get. He was out there getting his dick wet with Sally down the road, and here she is. Like you're not gonna do that. I'm gonna shoot you in the leg. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna get nut from a glove. Stay in Florida, <laughs> and then I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, I can't wait to have a guy nut in a glove. But the case took a bizarre turn when somehow the woman became pregnant while an inmate in the Turner Gilfield Night Correctional Center. Link's mother said in an interview her daughter told her on Christmas Day that she would indeed be carrying a baby. Mama, I'm pregnant. Merry Christmas. She's currently about three months pregnant. Her mother, uh, Josie Ramos, said she doesn't buy the story about the semen-filled glove (laughs) passing through the AC vent. Link has told her lawyer that she was not sexually assaulted. Miami-Dade Corrections and Rehab Department is investigating how, in fact, Link got pregnant. The care, safety, and rehabilitation of all those in our custody remains our top priority. While there is no evidence of sexual battery against our inmate at this time, the circumstances surrounding the pregnancy are currently under active investigation. Uh, she has the ability to seek a doctor every day. She has appointments. She's transported to her appointments. She will see opticians. Whoa, dude. There are doctors inside the facility. So if you have blah, 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 blah. the defendant is the one who put herself in the position by committing second degree murder and trying to get herself pregnant inside jail. So maybe she thinks this is my way out yeah, of jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just into that glove and get me out of here. <laughs> it's like the new version up. of a, a key inside of a cake. <laughs> Jizz into a glove and I'll be free. Jizz into a glove. (laughs) Mama's coming home. (laughs) Nut into a glove so Mama can get out of the pen. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mama wants out of the slammer. Come come for me. That's that's what she said to someone. Can Can I leave you with one more tale? Please. 
I thought you would never <laughs> ask. This one comes to us by way of C.T. Riley, and this is more something that I like. I want to help prevent in the world. I don't want this to occur. Evidently, masturbation abstinence has doctors worried. That means men are out there going, I'm saving my nut. I'm not releasing it. Like, I'm what nut retention, I do believe is what it's called. We don't like nut retention around these parts. <laughs> Get it out of you. <laughs> I say jerk off as many times as you can. I, I'm the opposite of Jordan Peterson. I don't think you should retain your nut. I think you should drain the nut out of you. Get it all out. Dry it up. Dry. <laughs> More than two decades of growing internet use has surfaced fears about the social and physiological impacts of nearly unfettered access to pornography. But many researchers and sex therapists worry that the online communities that have formed in response to these fears often endorse inaccurate medical information, exasperate mental health problems, and in some cases overlap with extremists and hate groups. They're saying if you retain your nut, you're a racist. <laughs> you're an incel. You think so? Nut retainers? Nut retainers are <laughs> incels, you think? Maybe. Maybe. There could be a link there. Get it out of you. I would think an <laughs> incel's Jane is D all the time. I don't know. Just not inside of a person. But if they were Jane their D, if they Jade their D, then they wouldn't be trolling comments. They would be asleep. Well, that's why I'm here to tell you, get it out of you. you get won't it even, out of you. You won't even be able to look at it. So you won't be able to keep your eyes open because they're so dried out from your jizz being outside of you. Make it. You got to jizz so much that your th mouth gets dry. One thing about me is I should have stayed in Florida. <laughs> there are many variations on how and why members of these communities choose to abstain from masturbation. You Let's see if you're right. One of the central concepts is in these communities is known as no fap. A play on the, I can't. I can't let the no fap. The no fap has come to encompass a set of unproven claims that not masturbating confers social and health benefits. No, it makes men weird. I bet the guy who came up to me at the comedy store the other night hadn't <laughs> nutted in a minute. I think he was fapping quite a bit that's why yeah. <laughs> I've seen your Instagram I don't follow you but I've seen it I've seen you on Instagram <laughs> you know what that means <gasps> fap central <laughs> you're right how many I mean this is a weird question to how ask many, you but how, how many, many guys do you think do you ever like depends, depends. I think you know it's happening do well, they tell no, you I, no well if they tell me I just they're in the other inbox and yeah I they're know. in the you don't yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't go in that folder too often Every but time when I you do like, <laughs> You see a pee pee? I see a pee pee. There was this one man that uh, proposed to me every single day. He said, I want to marry you. I want to marry you. Every day for like <laughs> three years. I'm like, he's in love with me. Yeah. And then he sent me a picture of his dick and I didn't see it coming. I don't know why. She did after <laughs> she opened it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> then I blocked him. I was like, I well, was he it wanted to what marry kind of penis? Me. Was it a nice penis? A bad penis? Oh, I don't know. It was also just like every day he was like, I want to marry you. I want to marry you. And then he sent me his dick and I said, blocked. Now, have you ever gotten a dick pic where you're like, of course, it's obviously offensive. You never want to get that. It's like no. a version of like the R word, in my opinion, even just to like force a person to see your dick. Yeah, it is. But have you ever gotten one where you're like, it's pretty nice. No, <laughs> no, because it's it's always like a rogue D will make you feel some type of way. Like in a bad way, in a bad way. Like, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like a rogue P like you see that you're like, that's pretty or like <laughs> I would. You know, this what's funny is like, yikes. I obviously you can send me all the rogue P pussy. I'm not, <laughs> I'm sure it's not, not penis. Don't want that. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Don't want that P. We want when well, you need a pussy I'm saying, button. Pussy. When, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> you got to have a good dude say it. Pussy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you but ob that. obviously, like I have gotten rogue uh, nudes, and every now and then you get one where you're like, "Good golly!" You would. No, <laughs> I'm saying the other way. I, every other one, you're like, "This is a, I'm flattered. Thank you. I love them. I'm always flattered. I'm never like, yikes. But I have gotten ones where you go, "Jeez, Louise." <laughs> <laughs> Well, Damn. Sarah, tell Damn. everybody. Oh, I, I guess we can still finish this. Hold on. I, I, I really just wanted to get into the note. I think you should jerk off as much as possible. I just want that message. That is the roach way of life. Sorry, 
no fappers or whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> but we are the opposite over here. We're trying to empty these balls all the time. And you should too. Drain those sacks, guys. Drain your sack in 2024. <laughs> That's what it's about. Yes. 2024, you know, they the election, they're like, drain the swamp. We're draining sacks. Yes, we are. On the Josh Potter show. So, Sarah... This Bitch and Friends, March 14th. I'll be on that with you. Of course, go check out the podcast every Monday, This Bitch Comes Out. Yep, and every Wednesday on Shank. And then May 7th, This Bitch and Friends, are. we're doing... No, sorry. It's This Bitch Podcast Live for Netflix is a joke at the Comedy Store. Oh, yeah. That one's already announced, too. And you have quite a lineup of funny ladies for that one. With yeah. Whitney and Annie and... Oh, yeah. That's that's the all oh, girls sorry. one. We're doing that one April 18th. But May, May 7th, we're doing This Bitch Podcast Live at the Comedy Store for Netflix. I see. I see. Well, folks, the sh- link to all my shows are in the description below so please to be checking that out whether it's on audio or video that you're watching and please to be liking sharing and subscribing get back on the subscription uh, train here let's get some subscribing happening but i want to tell you about some dates march 15th it's just been announced and it's happening very soon obviously chandler arizona the phoenix area at the mic drop comedy club april 26th and 27th huntsville alabama at stand up live may 3rd seattle washington just announced as well on sale two shows seattle washington may 3rd May 29th, Baltimore, Maryland at Magoobies. May 30th, Washington, D.C., D.C. Improv. Allentown, PA, May 31st at the Emmaus Theater with uh, Tim Butterly. June 15th and 16th, Houston. August 15th, Omaha. August 16th and 17th, Des Moines. All of them on sale now. Get your tickets. We're going to wrap things up with the uh, fine uh, instrumental from Brothers. Well, it's not even an instrumental. They rapped all over it. What a hell of a rap song. Thank you for doing it. Uh, lining up with Hen Dog and putting this bad boy out. Josh Potter Show at gmail.com is where you can send articles or music the way that uh, Brothers did, in fact. Here it is. Thank you for listening. We'll check you next Wednesday right here on The Josh Potter Show. Eleven to red with the roach. We shotgun the beers. I got time for a toast. It's the only place I get my sports like for real. Sonny taught us nobody's more sus than Russell Wilson. Here's the deal, son. Won't find us in Walmart. Josh Potter, keep it frank, kind of like a ballpark. It wasn't nothing talking all that jism. Turns out there's a lot of semen terrorism. Now it's time we hit them. Bringing bottle to the plate. Roachy, you warned for Chase O'Donnell the Great. Let me stop for a second because it's Ask Marty time because it's idiocy. You know I cannot abide. Not a fan of these guys. Gonna damage the rise. Worse than the host known as the Roach. Leave an idiot woman standing on the side or looking like she just tripped into a moat. I'ma kill this Henny beat like uh-uh murder. Been in more studios than most have ever heard of. Please to be listening, hit that like and subscribe. So many bills have got, got the mafia vibe. vibe. A lot to describe like a roach reporter. Teacher on OF, don't, don't report, report her. her. Trying to live life with my mannequin wife and my mannequin kids if that's my mannequin right. Been a fan of this guy since the roach motel. Couple hundred weeks in, still funny as hell. hell. From the tip cups to back sis and blind eyes, Potter has one of the best, best shows of all time. Now watch this drive. Pop a couple tall cans with the roach king and, and caught the vibe. vibe. Ready to pour more, scurry out the floorboards, hit like, comment, and subscribe.